There we go. <clears throat> High Tech Hurricane 503, dual carburetor, dual ignition, strobe lights, power fin propeller, wonderful yellow black collar combination. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Other than that, it's an out of date airplane that flies pretty darn good. You know, that's about it. Got it rigged up for 12 volts coming out to a regulator. Then that regulator <laughs> comes out and I got it, you know, into a, uh, a car adapter charger thing in the bob. That then runs down and powers all my, all my good stuff. So I'm running the uh, ICOM ICA6 headset. Hands handheld unit, I'm sorry. Let me turn this stupid airplane around where I'm not staring into the sun. Ugh. There we go. ICOM ICA6. That goes right into the Pilot USA 1160AI headset. Yeah, a lot of you say, yeah, big deal about the headset. Well, what I like about the headset is I don't need any adapters to plug it right into the radio. It just plugs straight in with a built-in built push-to-talk button right there. And I'm all set, man. I don't have any bulky nothing anywhere with those two plug things and all that junk going on. I got a new dash. I found it from a guy in California. I painted it crinkle black, which is pretty cool because I used to do valve covers on cars and stuff like that, engine accessories and crinkle black. So I did the dash with it and then I took the um, cylinder head temp and exhaust temp and I uh, highlighted those a little bit so you can kind of see those. And I got the, uh, instead of putting that crappy sticky tape crap on everything, I did that to where it's um, inside the gauge, not outside. So, tiny tack keeps track of all the engine times and all that good stuff, and whatever. So, that's pretty much about it. The dash that came with it, if you look at my other videos, was a real piece of work. I mean, that thing was hacked up so bad, it was, it was bad, pitiful. So, fabric is not really all that old, it's just where we keep it even indoors they got the birds on the inside and they just wreak havoc with it so it's like I got these stains on it I mean I tried getting them out I don't know how to get them out I might go to a uh, sail shop a uh, sailboat place maybe they got some ideas they deal with the same kind of daycron so waiting for the sun excuse me the wind to kind of die out a little bit it's about what 6:30, give or take a little bit. June 1st, and uh, I want to go fly. So doesn't look too bad. I'm looking around five, six mile an hour winds. That's not bad, but man, I tell you what, when that sun starts getting down, it starts turning orange out. Man, there ain't nothing like it. You guys know what I'm talking about. So look, any of you hurricane owners, if you're out there still, man, hit me up. Leave me a message. Tell me what you're flying. Uh, what you're doing to keep your airplane clean, keep your fabric clean. I know short of buying new fabric and then sealing, it's about really all you can do. But, uh, you know, let me know. Hit me up. I mean, heck, even some of you guys that are flying other aircraft, like Quicksilvers or whatever, that have Daycron. Tell me what you're doing to keep your stuff clean. So, uh, I'm always looking for something better, you know. So I'm going to fly this until August, and then I'm going to turn around and sell it, and I want to find something else. So I really like to find a uh, Titan Tornado. I'm working on getting my uh, Sport Pilot, but uh, get my Titan Tornado or something along those lines. And um, I don't know. You never know. Between now and August, who knows? I could be dead. So. That's that's my baby. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Time to go fly.